What's up, everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. And yes, this is a very informative video uh, update on my usage with the Moto E, not Moto E, Moto G7 Power, quote unquote, the unlocked model. Um, so there's there's been some uh, forms uh, about Verizon not working properly. Uh, with the with the Moto G7 power, and I I have to agree. I think that's true. That there's some kind of conspiracy going on with Verizon and Motorola. Not sure what it is or why it doesn't properly work with the service. <laughs> and I know somebody just you know joked on me like that's because it ain't for free. <laughs> Shout out to Telegram Squad though. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so I even tried Verizon on the Moto G7 Power, and I couldn't even get set up on the Moto G7 Power. It says, yeah, your phone is compatible with the Ua, and la, la, la. Did I, you know, I'll put all the IME numbers and stuff like that, put the ICC ID number in. I tried to set up the account, tried to buy, I tried to get me service. Epic fail. Verizon Epic fail. I don't, I don't know if it's Motorola. I don't know if it's Verizon. But it was a freaking epic fail. It took a huge L for me. So, I can't recommend Verizon on the Moto G7 Power. Um, free up mobile works, but it doesn't work. So, I, I input it. The setup, I set up the APNs on the Motorola phone. And... Um, I put in all the stuff the correct way. Uh, but what I'm thinking is that it, it's compatible, but it's not. Meaning like uh, I had data con connection issues. I kept getting data and then I kept losing data. So I don't know what's going on with free up mobiles set up with Moto G7 power. But I am able to get calls and texts. I'm able to receive calls. I'm able to receive text messages. I'm able to send and make calls on free up mobile using the AT&T network. But my data connection kept losing. I kept losing data. It kept showing the AT&T, I mean the, LT, the LTE logo, but I kept losing data connection, but I was still able to get calls and texts. So that's... Uh, that's a win, and but it's also a loss. So I'm not sure what's going on with them. Then I checked the website. They haven't updated the website to the Moto G7 series yet. So that could be the situation. I put in all the settings that I'm supposed to put in via the website, and there's still no connection. So maybe it might take an hour or so. I, I didn't let it connect or whatever like that. So I was just trying to say, Hey, it should work right away. I put it in the sentence. It should work right away. That's how I felt about it. Now, everyone else, including Text Not Wireless, and I guess it has something to do with T-Mobile's network. Everyone else, including Google Fi service. Like I said, I already got Google Fi set up, and I already had it, you know, everything all set up and stuff like that. And I took the Google Fi Sam out of my Nexus, Put it right in the Moto G7 power. Not even a minute later. Boom. Connection. I got LTE data. I tested it out on Chrome. I tested it out on Twitter. I tested it out on Telegram. Everything was coming through. I was using YouTube. Everything was coming through. Mint Mobile Sim. I ain't put it. Mint Mobile Sim inside the Moto G7 power. As soon as I put it in. Bam, notification start running. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what the? Okay. Republic Wireless, this is the first thing I did. Was able to use calls and texts. The data, the little one gig of data, run smooth. Now, I do have to give Republic Wireless an L right now. You cannot make, you, you can't make uh, calls or texts without having data turned on. So, they get the L. But everyone else, 
it's like a, I don't know what it is. It's like a miscommunication with Motorola network or with Motorola frequencies or Motorola's setup. And then it's like a mixed connection with all the other carriers. Now, like, like I said, the only carriers I had no real issues with once I got it set up, connected, was text not wireless on T-Mobile, Google Fi on T-Mobile, Mint Mobile on T-Mobile, and, and like I said, Republic Wireless is on T-Mobile, but with, with Republic Wireless, you can't make calls and texts without data. So you either going to need Wi-Fi or you're going to need data with Repu Republic Wireless. Everybody else, you can turn off the data, you can still make calls and texts. Even with Free Up Mobile, that's AT and T. So it's so with Moto G Seven Power, there is a lot of connectivity issues. You can connect, but then it's like certain SIM, certain services won't connect. And if you go to Motorola website or even Best Buy website, they say that they'll work with Cricket, Boost Mobile, Metro, Virgin Mobile, uh, Mint Mobile, Simple Mobile, all these carriers, T Mobiles. Sprint, Verizon, at and all these carriers, but there's still some connectivity issues. Other than that, um, battery life is boss. Now, I'm going, I did the three-day three day challenge, and I surpassed it. I almost went three and a half to four days off of one charge. Now, according to this right now, I'm at 64%, Not, and the reason why is, I've been turning it off, turning it on, inserting sales and stuff, and that 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 could break it. That could break it, so I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop. I'll leave it on the T-Mobile network. I'm gonna just stop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so even with 64% battery life, it's still telling me that um, I have more than two days remaining, and then I have. Uh, Four hours and 38 minutes of screen on time. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, um, the app that's using the most service is basically the Moto app launcher. I don't, I don't get why, but I guess because I've been flipping or whatever. And, yeah, other than that, everything else seems to be working fine. It still says I, has over, I have over uh, two days left. The first charge was almost 24 hours ago, almost a whole day ago. So I still got another probably like an hour and a half or whatever like that, another hour uh, before a whole day goes by. And I'm still at like 60 some percent. Um, I know a lot of you all might like be like, well, you're not using your phone. No, I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this video for a reason to warn people, be aware before you buy your T-Mobile or at and is it the service for you? It's, it seems like GSM is the only one that's truly connected or whatever. But, um, yeah, Verizon taking a freaking L. Uh, I haven't really tested Sprint out yet, but Verizon's definitely taking an L with Motorola. So, I don't know, Motorola, you might want to think about your next uh, promo with Verizon, your next deal with Verizon. Because if your phones are supposed to be fully unlocked, see, I'm getting these computer solutions, notifications, everything like that on the T-Mobile network. I don't know, man. Uh, but I have a lost connection on T-Mobile, so I'm not mad. I'm satisfied. T-Mobile ain't the network for you. Then don't get this phone. But it seems like that's a conspiracy with the Molo G7 power. It's like it's really targeted to T-Mobile customers. It's really targeted to the T-Mobile network. And I don't know what else to say about it. But uh, like I said, the battery life is good, though. The battery life is great. Um, screen on time is boss, man. Like, <laughs> in the U.S., in the U.S., you're not going to find another smartphone out there that's going to give you oh, almost 12 hours of screen on time for almost four days of use. Man, yeah, just think about how how many screen how much screen on time for a whole day. Just think about that. That that's gonna blow you away. So, other than uh, the connectivity issues with the other carriers and networks, I still say it's a good phone. But I don't know. It's it still needs some work with the like I said the connectivity 
Still need some work. Wi-Fi is still good. Um, sound quality is still good. Calls are still great on this phone. Texting is still great on this phone. Um, even the cameras. A lot of people are hating on these cameras. But I took some night night pictures, some night shots. I posted up on my YouTube. I, got, I guess I got to go through my Instagram or Twitter. A lot of people get hate because it's a single lens. It ain't got no wide angle and woof de woo and all that. But you can do everything else that a Pixel can do, that an iPhone can do, that a Samsung can do, other than the wide angle picture. And I, I guarantee you, I think that's, that's one of the it's underrated with the night the night mode. It's underrated with the with the with the night shot. So go back to my YouTube community. I will post a, a video, a photo uh, of the night mode or the night shot. On my Instagram and Twitter, let the haters hate. Keep disliking my videos. Keep disliking my photos. Keep disliking my tweets because I like it. It's filling in this YouTube channel, but this is the only gripe I have right now. But I'm actually satisfied with the T-Mobile network. Like I said, Mint Mobile, which I got for free, <laughs> works. <laughs> Google Fi, which I technically got for free, <laughs> works. And free up mobile calls and texts. Work for free. <laughs> Shout out to all the haters, man. But <laughs> if it help, if it if it if it uh report the wireless work for free. <laughs> I'm killing it, man. But look, man. Um overall, I still like the service. I still like the phone. It is what it is. <laughs> Let the haters hate for free. <laughs> Alright, it's your boy. Two I'm out.